Say of the hangman. And you have the five of cups. But somebody could be definitely disappointed because another person is enlightened. Um, maybe they felt like they had this person stuck or feeling trapped. But they didn't know that that person was someone that um, was enlightened. You have the Knight of Swords. It's like they feel like they jumped at something way too quick. Or they did something way too quick. You have the Three of Cups. And then the Three of Swords. Yeah, this is someone that could be a... Um, this could have been a third party. Like a friend, a family member. Somebody that another person was attached to. Like in a relationship. That they ended up removing or separating themselves from. They could have been, you know, they could have jumped into something too quick trying to separate another person from reconciling with a you know with someone else. With the three of cups and the three of swords. But they're disappointed because something didn't go the way they planned. You have the ten of cups. This could have definitely been somebody's family, like a family member that they were close to. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Two of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. It's like somebody was trying to hold on to another person um, for some type of abundance. Like if they knew that that person was getting ready to receive some type of unexpected income, you know, something big, they felt like if they could keep that person in the Two of Swords blinded from the truth, they would be able to hold on to that person. You know, keep that person in the energy of being unsure and decisive. Um, and this just could have been with, you know, overall manipulating a person to keep them uncertain. They felt like they would be able to receive something big out of this. You have the Nine of Pentacles and then the Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's like somebody definitely caused some type of betrayal to um, whoever the single person is. Like they wanted to cause some type of ending for this person. And they could have knew something was going to end out. You have the Five of Swords, yeah. This is definitely someone that betrayed another person. They spread some type of lie on whoever this single person is to try to have them trapped or feeling stuck. Now that they're realizing that this person is someone that's enlightened, they did something way too quick, they're in regret, they're disappointed. Because the ending that they were, you know, head on, you know, set to create for this single person, they've manifested it for their self. Like they feel defeated. It's like they wanted to put an end to this person being in the nine of pentacles. Now, this could be someone that's very um, self-sufficient, independent. They have their own stability, their own independence, their own security. They can stand on their own two feet. They feel like they can bring this person, like ruin that person. Yeah, this could have been somebody to try to set up, you know, somebody to um, go through a ten of swords. Like somebody intentionally caused harm to that person because they were so head set on trying to get whatever this Ace of Pentacles is. And they felt like that person would be blinded to all of whatever they were trying to do. You have the Page of Wands. And then you have the King of Cups. Yeah. They feel like this person would never be able to say something. If this is someone who had emotions for you or um, wanted to say something to you, like physically say something to you, they feel like if they could bring an end to that, that person wouldn't be able to say whatever it is that they wanted to say.
You have the Queen of Swords. Then you have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, there, this part, if you... <laughs> If you spoke the truth to whoever this communicated something to this King of Cups with this Queen of Swords and Nine of Cups, they're happy that you spoke the truth to that person. Because it's like somebody was trying to hold on to that person with a lie. And they didn't know that would cause the ending. You have temperance, and you have the eight of cups. Then you have the lovers. Yeah, whatever you said has definitely helped somebody balance their self out, get more grounded. This could be, you know, someone that is um, definitely learning about spirituality. They're no longer in a confused mindset. That person is viewing things differently now. Like, they're looking at life on a whole nother level at a whole nother perspective. This person definitely have gotten, gotten enlightened about a spiritual connection that they have with you. Yeah, you have two of pentacles. And then you have the two of wands. And it's like they see why this person was someone that was trying to have them uncertain, unsure. Um, with this two of pentacles, two of wands to keep them like at a stalemate. And as I said, whoever this energy is, they felt like they would be able to receive some type of abundance. This could have been a family member and a friend that they needed to like uh, separate themselves from. Yeah, it's like somebody definitely got enlightened. Nine of swords is here. Now that this person is enlightened, they're stressed. It's like they're going through it. They didn't expect for this person to like isolate or end something out. This person could have just separated their self. You know, they're spending a lot of time by their self. They've learned how to set some type of boundaries with whoever these people are. But they're in regret because they didn't know you were, you know, enlightened. And it's like whoever this person is that you have this spiritual connection with, this is someone who definitely is, um, they're grateful with something that you said. So whatever you spoke that was true, they're happy that you said something. You have Privileged Lady. And then you have sudden wealth. You have main male, and then you have the mature man popping out in the reverse. Message of concern. So whoever, yeah, it's like whoever this person is that acted, whoever this main male is, this is someone that's young. They could be younger than that person, younger than you, but they act, they wanted that person to be concerned about you. They didn't want this person to, you know, be more like use their mindset, be more mature. Think, at, you know, look at things on a higher perspective. Think logically. Yeah, now they're concerned that this person is viewing them as a false person. Because they wanted that person to think that you were someone that was a false person. I'm so dumb. But it's like they couldn't make you out to be a false person. You're someone that's very abundant by yourself with the privileged lady and sudden wealth being here. Yeah, this is somebody who felt like they would just be able to backstab you if they seen you by yourself. They could get away with this betrayal. You would be feeling trapped or something like that. But they did not know that you were someone that was enlightened. Yeah, they're in despair. They cannot believe this. Somebody thought you were an easy target. 
Yeah, but it's like you're someone that's held in high honor. You came out having victory with high honor being here. And they cannot believe this. You have house. Judication and then thoughts. This person is definitely under judgment for something that took place or something that they did. Now, if this person was, um, they physically tried to do something to, um, to put an end to your stability, a stable foundation that you have built for yourself. They're going through some type of karma and they're thinking about what they did. Now their concern is to, you know, their concern, wondering if that person views them as a false person. Because that person could be watching them go through some type of karma or some type of judgment. Wow. You have social media. And then you have grass is greener. If this person is watching you online, they're looking at you as someone that um, is someone that is prospering. You're sprouting. Um, they could feel like this. somebody did something out of jealousy. You have ex-lover. Yeah, it's like somebody, these people could have got behind the scenes with an ex. This could be an ex of yours or an ex of this person. And they started spying on you and they were jealous. Because they viewed you as someone that was a better option than them. For that person. Yeah, it's like they view you as the one for that person. With wedding being here. And then you have change. Yeah, it's like if it, they, yeah, this is someone who have definitely watched this person change. Whatever you said to this person and the energy that you're in, it has helped this person make some type of change and end the cycle out. Somebody knew that a union between you and this person would change something. And if they, this is someone who was jealous, they felt intimidated while they were watching you, spying on you, they were trying to get that person to come back towards them with unfinished business and karmic being here. So this could have been three different people with the three of cups, whoever these third parties is. Two people that were close to this person, you know, could have collaborated with the ex because they didn't want something to be over. They felt like they would be able to gain some type of abundance by trying to hold on to that person and keep them at the two of swords, like uncertain. You have reconciliation. And then between the lines, yeah. Somebody was definitely trying to get another person to give them a second chance. But they didn't want them to see that they were someone that was a karmic. Yeah. They didn't want that person to see that they were someone that was a karmic energy. And then you have divine intervention. It's like somebody was expecting the Ace of Pentacles, but if they could, if they would have got that person to come back towards them, it would have been a lot of havoc and um, karma for that person. They would have been running into divine intervention. Yeah, but this person got enlightened, spiritual awakening, and then you have the truth. Yeah, this is someone that's way more intuitive now. 
So they couldn't get that person to come back towards them. It's like all of these people are in the three of swords. They're hurt. It's like somebody cannot, they can't believe this didn't work. Yeah, and this could also be with the truth and spiritual awakening. Whatever you spoke clarity to that person or said to that person, and they're, you know, grateful that you said something, they went through an awakening. This person could have found out you're their twin. Like there's a union that is supposed to take place between you and them with twin flames being here. But somebody wanted this person to feel like they were supposed to be reunited and reconnecting with a karmic energy and giving them a second chance. I'm so done. This is something serious. You have the butterfly. Yeah. And it's like they wanted that person to think that a relationship would be taken to the next phase. They would grow with that person or something like that. This person chose to heal. Like if they were dealing with some type of um, childhood trauma abandonment issues they chose to heal from that yeah you have the mirror so this is someone if this is your twin you and that person were mirroring each other if they've watched you evolve they've watched you heal they've watched your growth they were in the same energy yeah not enough Whoever that person is that wanted them to reconcile with them and think that they were supposed to come in union, this is someone who um, they felt like was just not enough for them. It's like something wasn't enough. The connection wasn't enough. It could have been, you know, not enough chemistry to keep the relationship or the connection going. Not enough passion or something like that. There wasn't any emotions in whatever this connection was. So they didn't want to backtrack. Yeah, this person decided to move forward with both being here. It's like they already received the information um, that they needed to receive about that person in the past. They've learned the lesson that they needed to learn from that person and they moved on. You have love call. You have love, call, and passion. So yeah, now that this person is someone who is definitely enlightened, they want to express the way they feel. Like that person feels like you're their equal. And if they're in this energy where they're very intuitive, this person can feel your energy around them. It's like they cannot stop thinking about you. Um, they're constantly receiving some type of telepathic communication or messages um, from you. There could be, you know, um, seeing different signs and synchronicities. Yeah. You have clock. And then stab in the back engagement ring. Yeah, it's like they were, this person was deceived by whoever this person is that expected them to come back towards them. But whatever this deception was, it definitely helped that person focus on their self. They took out the time to heal with clock being here. Learn to appreciate. They've learned to appreciate their self more. Yeah, and now that they've made, you know, this progress and did a lot of shadow work on their self, they want to come in union with you. Engagement ring is um, here. It's like they want to be in a commitment with you. Yeah, Cupid's arrow. 
This is definitely someone who's getting ready to surprise you when they come towards you. This card also talks about having faith. Love is coming. Um, it's basically coming your way. This is going to be like an unexpected um, meetup. You're going to run into that person or hear from that person or something like that. But it's going to shock and surprise you. And it's like whoever these people are that ran in and did something way too quick, they're in, the, they're in this energy feeling hurt. They didn't expect for a transformation to take place while they were in this energy, um, you know, wearing a mask, trying to hide who they truly were to that person. 